everybody welcome to my astrological report for June 2018 uh, today when I'm standing here it's the 13th of May and we have moon Mercury and Uranus conjunct uh, on the cusp of Aries and Taurus uh, so moon uh, is uh, memories uh, it's um, emotions karma so and Mercury is communicating these kind of things, what you are digging up from the inside. And Uranus is a great uh, planet for transformation. So this day can really kickstart your spiritual growth and also your ability to communicate uh, what you feel. Uh, so Uranus moved from Aries into Taurus within two days, May 15, and beginning a new uh, seven-year cycle in a new sign. The time it has spent in revolutionary Aries have prepared us for this. Uh, and now we are going to clean up the way we use energy. Uh, energy can be love, money, or actual energy. Uh, I am seeing a big shift when it comes to how society will uh, learn to use energy. We will learn to also live closer to nature, both our inner nature, but also the outer nature of Mother Earth and all her creations. Uh, in Aries, we become our own authority. In Taurus, we are going to become our. In Aries, we became our own authority. We went through a lot of things, like 2017, with the end of illusions, and and we started to. Well, uh, if this is how it is, I need to clean up uh, my mess for myself, and that made us uh, grow up and uh, become our own authority, not listening to so much to other. Uh, for how we want to live our lives. We are trying to make the best of it ourselves. So becoming our own hero, we can say. Uh, and in Taurus, we are going to become our own prophets. So we are going to start to listen uh, to our own heart and not so much to uh, what's cool or uh, what, uh, how we are supposed to be or act or what we are supposed to believe in, but we will actually find the truth uh, within ourselves. Uh, so, May 15, we will also have the new moon in Taurus on the cusp of uh, Gemini. And the very same day, Mars is moving from Capricorn and into Aquarius. These energies combined can be a little unsettling and might be, uh, uh, there might be possibilities of conflicts uh, both within you and on the outside of you. Um, but if you have worked with yourself, this energy will instead give you a sense of calm and you will not be so caught up in the drama of it all. So, uh, and if you're caught up in the drama, uh, kind of fake it till you make it. Uh, try to be cool. Always communicate yourself. Always, always communicate yourself. Um, we, we, if we keep things stuck inside of us, uh, we are going to uh, start to collect uh, blockage. So you need to communicate. You can say, I feel very angry, I feel very upset. Uh, I don't agree with what you're saying, uh, but you don't have to be like um, helpless. Because when we feel help helpless, uh, we become uh, dramatic, okay? Uh, 19th of May, Venus is moving from Gemini and in, into Cancer, giving us a sense of being okay uh, with our own feelings and actually starting to dignify them. So that is uh, what I have been uh, uh, trying to help you with all along, that your feelings are okay. It's not uh, the feelings that's the problem. It's uh, uh, maybe you don't follow your feelings, so you stay in a hopeless situation or you, uh, you don't move along towards your dream. But uh, if you start to dignify your emotions, you will also start to become more alive and more passionate with whatever it is that uh, uh, you are here to do. Okay, uh, You are fine and cool with whatever you feel, you feel and you really don't get upset if someone gets upset with you. So that's a real victory. Okay. Uh, May 20, uh, Sun moves from Taurus and into Gemini, making us uh, illuminating our thoughts and becoming more aware uh, of our creations. So May 29, we will have the full moon in Sagittarius, the same day as the full moon. Mercury moves from Taurus and into Gemini, and by June 5th, it is uh, conjunct to the Sun. Uh, so, uh, this was um, a lot about May 1st, but it's because I'm doing this reading in the mid-May, so I want the people that's watched now uh, to know what's happening today. And now we will move into, uh, into June. The first thing uh, was um, um, June 5, when we will have the Moon uh, conjunct, um, Mercury, sorry, conjunct uh, to the Sun. 
Uh, so, uh, Moon, uh, Sun, and and Mercury is very uh, very connected because the Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and it's circling the Sun in a rather rapid speed. So, um, it's uh, it's uh, our communicator with our great soul. Uh, so it's like the um, the frequency of uh, we can speak to our soul. The soul is of course the Sun. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, the 12th of June, Mercury will move from Gemini and into Cancer. So, in Gemini, we, be we become very communicative. Uh, we can communicate uh, our thoughts, our visions, our ideas, uh, also conflicts. We can uh, start to uh, get conflicts with one another because uh, the Gemini is the twin. Uh, so, uh, one twin might not really agree with what the other twin uh, wants or needs so uh, there can be a lot of conflict or you quarreling with yourself inside your head but when mercury moves into cancer we are ge getting more we're getting a little bit more humble uh, a little bit more uh, aimed towards communicating love and how we really feel uh, towards people uh, so that can be a, a wonderful time uh, here in the m in the midst of summer June 13, we will have the new moon in Gemini, uh, as both the sun and moon is racing to catch up with Mercury on the night sky. So we are going to have the new moon and, and Mercury uh, and sun uh, coming uh, behind Mercury. Of course, they won't uh, be able to win the race because Mercury is, uh, uh, is moving uh, the fastest, okay? Uh, but uh, new moon in Gemini, so uh, that will make you uh, if you have really get to know your own emotions, you will be able to uh, start to put um, your dreams into a great vision, okay, with a new moon in Gemini. New moons is always for uh, prayers, okay, and uh, asking for what you want, starting to um, put your... Uh, visions into action so a new moon in Gemini Gemini is the visionary it's also about love of course and uh, and the twin uh, uh, dynamics uh, also magnetism between people but also conflict okay uh, so new moon there can mean also that you're going to sort out more of these things that you're going to um, uh, dig uh, this is going to be what you're going to deal with for some time uh, so, uh, yes, and the 14th of June, Venus is moving from Cancer and into Leo. So, Venus in Cancer is already uh, very passionate, but it's soft, uh, yielding passion. And uh, it's, um, it's about uh, maybe more family-oriented towards our children and um, our parents and between different family members. But with uh, Venus moving into Leo, we might become more passionate and maybe want more adventures in our lives. So we can have a little bit more risky behavior when it comes to love, but uh, also we will have much more fun. <laughs> so... Uh, 19th of June, and uh, Neptune will start uh, station in Pisces to start uh, moving retrograde. So Neptune moving, um, Neptune in Pisces, Neptune uh, is at home in Pisces, and uh, when it starts to move uh, retrograde, it's going to de dig even deeper uh, into our emotions. Pisces is kind of uh, the Jesus energy with this transformative. Uh, um, making all uh, people into unconditionally loving creatures and um, when we now have it moving retrograde Neptune moving retrograde uh, in Pisces uh, we are going to um, dig deeper into this what really unconditional love means what is spiritual growth not thinking about it but feeling about it and uh, maybe be, some of you will be called to go through uh, the dark night of the soul so that's an initiation phase that will might start as a depression or you feeling like there's no use and that's the valley of death so that's when you die before you die so uh, it can be hard uh, but embrace it because it's uh, it's here for you it's here um, for you to remember who you are and or where you came from and where you are going so uh, okay, uh, the 21st of June, the sun is moving from Gemini uh, into Cancer, and we'll also have the midsummer solstice that day. Uh, so it's the day on the northern, northern hemisphere when we have the longest day, like it's light, the light is um, with us for a longer time. And on the southern hemisphere, it will be the darkest uh, night of the year. Um, and sun moving into from Gemini to Cancer uh, will also make us... Um, 
and more relaxed. So it's a good time to for vacation, for example. Uh, so uh, yes, yeah, Saturn is up in opposition June 27th and will be fully illuminated by, by the sun. And for those of you that have Saturn on the night sky during this time, it will be different from different places of the Earth. Uh, it's really a chance to go out and check it out because it will be as close as possible to Earth and also it will uh, uh, be fully illuminated. So you really have a good chance to, to get uh, uh, to watch Saturn. Okay. Uh, the same day, Mercury will station in Aquarius and start to move retrograde uh, the very same day. Uh, so, uh, Mars in Aquarius. Um, Mars is the warrior uh, planet and Aquarius is the one, is the judge. It's the person or the judge seeing things from an above perspective. And with Mars moving retrograde, we might be able to actually solve one of the big, uh, like, some of the big uh, conflicts here on Earth, like the big wars or uh, the big conflicts between people. Um, well, I'm getting Ireland for some reason, but also we have the conflict in Palestine um, and a lot of other different conflicts. Also, um, there's, um, we have had uh, like a rising of um, um, racism and uh, people being very closed off with their, they don't want to meet uh, their outside, they're making their sh other people into their great shadow. So uh, that can be interesting because um, uh, neither Mars or Aquarius is about uh, your shadow, but to solve this conflict, you need to look at the shadow. You are irritated on people on the outside because you're irritated uh, on your shadow on the inside. So if you're afraid of strangers, uh, guess what? You have a stranger inside of you that you need to get to know, okay? Uh, we will have the full moon in Capricorn, June 20, uh, 28. Join there with retrograde doomsday planets as Saturn and Pluto. Uh, so Saturn and Pluto and full moon. Full moon is the time when uh, things comes to, like the things you wished for in the new moon is coming to fruition. But now they're coming at fruition in Capricorn. That's about work. It's about performance. It's about uh, organizing yourself so you will have something better in the future. But you have both Saturn uh, and um, a Pluto moving retrograde. So Saturn is uh, uh, is the great teacher and Pluto is death. Uh, so teacher means uh, usually very challenging, um, challenging uh, teachings. It's not this teaching when uh, people are very nice to you. It's um, the teaching when you actually learn something, usually through uh, tremendous um, stress. Uh, and with these planets moving retrograde, it's like now you really have a, a chance to solve really old problems, like karmic problems. So don't be afraid if they're coming up things that might be hard to face. Um, yes, okay. So, Mercury is moving from Cancer to Leo uh, in the 20, 29th of uh, June. Uh, so, uh, that will make you able to uh, put like big business deals <laughs> into manifestation. Also, um, maybe uh, taking the next step uh, in uh, love relationships. Uh, because uh, it's about communication, so and, and Leo is very passionate and he's also very brave. So you can really, uh, you don't feel like the resistance anymore towards going towards your goal. Okay, and for the slow moving planets, uh, we have Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio, Saturn and Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn, as I said, Neptune is retrograde in Pisces, and Uranus is moving direct in. Taurus. So the biggest news for this report is, of course, the shift from uh, of Uranus from Aries to Taurus. And uh, many people are afraid of this because um, uh, Uranus is very, uh, it's like, uh, uh, it's almost like, uh, uh, like something that comes and peels uh, things off, like a machine or, you know, it's just... Uh, so uh, it might be very interesting uh, when it goes into a new sign because then it's a totally new uh, areas that's going to be affected and many people are afraid of uh, 
how it will become with our money and so on. But I think it will be great. It might be a shift of money, like uh, from the really rich uh, to be spread more uh, with people that is very creative or following their dreams. So start following your dreams. Okay, so I hope this will help you on your journey this summer. And uh, I will start doing my tarot readings uh, tomorrow. Uh, and uh, so you can go and check out uh, your astrological sign. Okay, bye-bye.